my dad. Right, I can't believe this. Not only I got to get five minutes of Antoine Girard on camera, but I also managed to convince Ed Ewing, the editor of Cross Country Magazine, to interview him for me. So this is five, six minutes of absolute gold. Yes. Can you tell me your name, first of all, and uh, where you're from? My name is uh, Antoine Girard. I come from uh, France. And we've just watched an amazing film. Can you tell me what it was about? The, the movie is about uh, Pakistan. I do uh, 1,200 uh, kilometers uh, trip of uh, I Can Fly. Uh, and uh, during the, the trip, uh, I go on the top of uh, Broad Peak at more than uh, 8,000 uh, meters. It's extraordinary to watch and it is an extraordinary feat. Um, what is it like flying a paraglider at 8,000 meters? Uh, it's amazing. Just uh, everything is beautiful. It's uh, another, another planet. <laughs> it's another planet. But it is a place that you know well. Um, can you tell us a bit about your climbing and mountaineering background? Yes, uh, I know uh, very, very well the, the place. I stay uh, six months in the same era of, on uh, uh, three expeditions for uh, K2 and uh, Broad Peak. Um, and so your background is in climbing. How long have you been flying for? Uh, I begin in, in uh, 2007. Uh, I begin in uh, 2007. So you've been flying for 10 years. Exactly. 10 years, a decade. Yes. Um, and can you tell us a little bit more about what flying in Pakistan is like? What was your objective when you went to Pakistan? Uh, my objective is just to uh, do a good trip and uh, have only pleasure. But uh, I have a dream. It's to go on the top of 8,000. But uh, I don't know if it's uh, possible or not. I will try and uh, it's possible and uh, I do it. Do you think you can go higher? Can anyone go higher? Can you fly up to the summit of K2, for example? Yes, I think it's possible. I uh, stopped the lift at, uh, uh, at 8,000 uh, meters, but uh, I think uh, this day it's possible to go at uh, 8,300 meters. It, and maybe on K2 it's possible to go on the summit. I don't know, but uh, I think it's possible. Uh, do you think you want to do that? Maybe if I have a good opportunity, maybe I can try. But it's not a goal for me. Uh, go on the top uh, of a mountain, yes, but uh, I go, I try, and uh, I see what is possible. And uh, I go, I don't have only one goal, just uh, have, uh, have fun, <laughs> for fun. Um, and in the film, well, in the, in the uh, expedition, you, you, you fro your fingers froze. Uh, how, what happened to your fingers? Yes, my ten finger uh, was froze, and uh, I stay three months without sensation of my finger. But no, it's uh, good. I have a good recovery, and uh, everything is good. Okay. Did you ever think you might lose your fingers? Mm, I think not, but uh, it's difficult because the next day I have uh, my finger uh, was uh, blue and uh, and uh, black. And I don't know if it's dangerous or not, uh, it's the uh, same thing. <laughs> and you have been back in the Himalaya recently. What, what were you doing this year? Uh, I do a trip uh, with alpinists. Uh, I, start, I start from uh, Kathmandu with my paraglide, uh, paraglide and all my uh, equipment for uh, mountaineering. Uh, I do a trip with uh, Julien Dusser. We start from uh, Kathmandu, we go in Langtang. Uh, only with paraglide and in Langtang uh, we will do a summit uh, it's uh, Langtang Lirong it's uh, uh, 7300 uh, meter uh, and we will uh, do that uh, with paraglide for uh, have a good accessibility of the base camp and uh, we start in alpinism from base camp to go on the, on the top but uh, we do a base camp not in the normal base camp but in high altitude near uh, 5,100 uh, meters, maybe more, and uh, we try to open a new route uh, on the mountain. 
It's phenomenal. You are at the cutting edge of um, this sport that you are developing. Uh, is anyone else also flying like you in these mountains? Uh, are there other pilots? Who else is flying in the Karakoram like this? In Karakoram, uh, no many pilots, uh, maybe five or six pilots, I don't know exactly, but uh, no many. Uh, the risk was to land in, uh, in glacier, on the glacier, and walk maybe six or uh, seven days uh, to back uh, in civilization. We're very glad you made it out. Thank you very much, Antoine. <laughs> and uh, what is your next project? My next proje project uh, is to go in uh, South America uh, to do, try to, to cross maybe 4,000 kilometers of uh, I can fly in, uh, from uh, Chile to, uh, um, to Peru. Chile to Peru. All right, well, good luck with that. Thank you for this evening. And uh, yes, we hope to, we look forward to seeing your next adventures. Thank you very much. Excellent.